Welcome to this video where we'll be trying to learn how to work with partial derivatives and uh, using the level curves. So we just learned about partial derivatives. Uh, the definition is here. Uh, you can remember the definition of derivative in general, but now we can see that we can use different variables and that's why we call it partial derivatives. If you're taking the derivative of the function with respect to variable x, then you use x, you take x plus a small shift, small change, which is h. h usually is a small change, as small as you want. And then find the output of that chain, uh, x plus h comma y. Those are going to be your two inputs. Subtract the original f and divide by this small change. So that's going to be the partial derivative with respect to x. The same idea, partial derivative with respect to y but this time we using a small shift for y and dividing by this small shift so basically this is what i want trying to explain to you Th those are level curves we learned them before uh, they tell us that it's going higher outside and it's low inside so i'm thinking that this is a pit basically right so if you're standing over here in the middle of the pit you want to get out you will go out but if there's a person standing over here, it can the person can go down. So that's the idea. Remember, those lines and color coding help us to visualize that this is a pit. Very nice visualization I found in several animations. There's lots of cool animations about that. But this is how it works. You first see level curves and you don't know are they going up or down. Then they are usually color coded. So in this case, you see, it's a pit. This is what we have, but it starts as a mountain. So those are two different cases, a mountain or a pit. So we're working with a pit. And this one is my favorite one for sure. This is how we usually see it as level curves. They're color coded, as you can see. Uh, in this case, the lighter it is, the more outside you go and you go higher. And then this is how you see those mountains from the side view. So we are in the middle of the pit and then looking outside we're climbing out the pit uh, in this case going up now what does it mean to actually work with derivatives so let's ask all of those questions basically for this problem they ask us to figure out for the point p let's find point p and we figure out if the partial derivative with respect to x and with respect to y are positive or negative that is the idea here so how would you uh, figure this out? You find point P, well, duh, that's like the step zero. Find, <laughs> find whatever we're talking about. Now, with respect to X, let's carefully read X and Y axis. X axis is run, as we get used to it in calculus one. Y is rise, basically left and right, up and down. Moreover, x is growing from left to right, we remember that, and y is growing from top to bottom. Order matters in this case. Thus, if we're talking about change with respect to x, you say it out loud. You're standing at this point p, and you figure out the change with respect to x. This is the change with respect to x. Derivative usually talks about uh, change at the moment, right? Instantaneous rate of change, instant. What is happening here? Based on this definition, if I'm talking about derivative with respect to x, I will go a little bit to the right. So I'm adding h to x. So I was standing at the p point. p was located at this height, right? This is some kind of level curve. This is height. Then I'm going a little bit to the right. I'm adding uh, the movement onto x then i'm checking the output of the same y so i did not change my y remember y is constant when you find partial derivative you fix y is constant you fix all other variables a partial derivative with respect to y x is constant so in this case we only changing x and seeing the output when x is going to the right, what is happening with my output? Well, I'm climbing out. At some point, I will grow uh, on, in my height because it gets higher the lighter the blue color is. Thus, this derivative is positive. 
It took me a while to explain, but now you know the idea. So let's check if you understand the why idea. Now we take talking about the derivative with respect to y, partial with respect to y. Same idea. Now x is fixed, right? But y, um, x is fixed here, but y is changing. And based on the formula, I'm adding a little bit to the y. So I'm going up. So to the right, right? And then up. Totally like we used to have. Let me close quickly show this example. A typical function from calculus one. We ask you what is the derivative? Uh, is it positive or negative at this point? Well, you look, uh, what is the next step? The next step minus the previous step give you this tangent line and the slope of the tangent line is a positive number. M is positive, derivative is positive. Here, going down, F is negative, F prime is negative, slope is negative, right? How did you know? Because you take the second step and compare with the previous step. You're hiking down, derivative is negative. In this case, you are hiking like so, and the still the color is getting lighter, so you're getting higher, you're getting out of the pit. The derivative is positive. Now, can you do by yourself all other points? Uh, I can help you with that if you want to. P, now let's do Q. I don't really follow the order. P, Q, R, S. Okay, I do follow the order. <laughs> Q, let's see if it's different or not. Let's uh, be a little bit faster. With respect to X, I'm going to the right. Is the color of the blue getting lighter or darker? Darker. So this person over here, who is like holding a flag, for example, I'm at the pit. Yay! So this person over here going closer to the person in the pit. So it's going. the person is going downhill. Now, the partial derivative with respect to X is now negative. Does this make sense? Now... How about y with respect to y? Partial derivative with respect to y at q. Let's check. With respect to y, the idea is the same. I'm going this way now because y is changing. Let me show you that. y is changing. We're adding h. New y, so it's y plus h minus the previous y, right? So it's a little bit off, like so. So is, in, is the colors, are the colors getting lighter or darker? Well, they're getting lighter. So with respect to Y at Q, the derivative is correct, positive. I like uh, playing the Dora the Explorer game. So I will wait a little bit and you have to yell in your room the answer. Now, P, Q, R. R, can you do it faster than me? R is, or maybe pause the video and do it by yourself and compare. It's pretty fun. I have to say, it's pretty fun. So to the right, uh, same with Q, seems like I'm approaching the person in the pit, right? Uh, then the derivative is, what do you think? With respect to X is negative. How about with respect to Y? With respect to Y going up, is the color getting uh, darker? Or lighter well seems like at R both derivatives are negative because again this person is going down the hill then finally s s let's have it here partial derivative with respect to X and partial derivative with respect to y f x f y let me fix this phrase constant did you finish while I was drawing? To the right, seems like the colors are getting lighter, going out of the pit, so the elevation is growing up. Up. The colors are getting darker, so we're going down the hill. And this is how we work with ideas, with level curves and derivatives. Imagine a person hiking up and down, and then you tell people where do you walk. If you walk to the east from r then you're going downhill but if you're walking to the east from s then you're going uphill and so on to the north from s going down the hill but from p to the north you're going uphill and so on derivative with respect to x derivative with respect to y and each level curve has some kind of uh, height 
So, for example, the very center, both derivatives are zero, right? With respect to x and y. For a while, at the center, they're zero because it's flat over there. Uh, so that's kind of interesting to point out. Then it's keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. So let me show you the animation one more time just to impress you with this idea. It's exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about the blue colors here. In this case, there's the two pits on this animation. And then depending on where you're going, you're either going in or going out. If you're going downhill, the derivative is negative. Derivative represents the rate of change, right? Negative, then, then the original function is decreasing. In this case, it's height. Level curves show you the height. And then if you're climbing out of the pit, then the derivative is positive. That is all I wanted to say. Keep working hard. I know it's a bit frustrating, but you're doing great.